Well, everybody, we're going to get started in just a couple of moments. We'd like to invite you, if you don't have the chat box open, to open that up now, and we can say hi and mazel tov to Michelle and Barack and, and a Shabbat Shalom to everybody. And hopefully you all have the Siddur, the prayer booklet we're using tonight. And uh, there'll be moments where we share the screen. And so if everybody is ready, what do you think, Cantor? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get started. So, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, we're gonna we're gonna kick it off tonight with a nigun. So don't worry if you don't know the words. Uh, there are none, or whatever you want them to be. But uh, I die die. Uh, please join me. opportunity here and now to engage with some uh, some wonderful beautiful words how beautiful how pleasant it is for um, for us to dwell here together in community so um, please join me Oh, 
Shabbat Shalom, dear friends. Shabbat Shalom. It is so great to be together tonight. I missed you last week. No Cantor Alyssa led a beautiful family service last week. This week, my goodness, this week, we know has been challenging to say the least. Uh, everything considered, we do hope you've also had and experience some moments of goodness and some moments of blessing. May tonight be such a moment. Our day of renewal, our day of hope is here. This Shabbat, we're going to be inviting in moments of sacredness, invite in little moments of joy, invite in warmth and love and friendship. Tonight we celebrate Shabbat as we do with music and with prayer and with Jewish wisdom and most of all, just being connected with each other. Kabbalat Panim, Panim El Panim, seeing and receiving each other's faces. So let's sing in joy as our ancestors have done for centuries. Let's welcome Shabbat by singing Lachadodi on page five. you to please be seated if you are standing well what a great way to bring in Shabbat and what a fantastic way to bring in the second Shabbat of this new year 2021 by being joined by our good friends Michelle and Barack Malkin and their son Nadav who is 
what what is it uh like six weeks old yes six weeks six weeks my goodness and his brother gideon is asleep and as you said he's about two and change yeah yep wonderful well thank you for joining us all the way from west orange new jersey and uh we'd be so honored to have you you three i was going to say you two but we'll have you three and we're thinking of gideon so we'll make it four to bring in the light and the warmth and the joy of shabbat on page nine in the beginning there was darkness and the spirit of god hovered over the darkness then god created light and the work of creation was begun as we kindle the sabbath lights we remember the majesty of creation and rejoice in our ability to witness it again Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, and Michelle and Barack, could you tell everybody, um, uh, you know, what you all are up to in the uh, up on the East Coast at West Orange and and uh, and area? And by the way, for those who may not have had the pleasure of meeting Michelle and Barack uh, when they were in our community uh, a few years back, Barack, let me see if I can get this right. Barack was our director of community and youth engagement. Is that correct? Yeah, you got it. All right, wonderful. And Michelle, very active in our sisterhood and a board member, a temple board member as well. Yep. Yeah, great. So what do you, so you guys very Jewishly engaged. So what are you guys up to in uh, on the East Coast? Uh, well, I'm the executive director of a reform congregation out here um, called Temple Near Tamid out in Bloomfield. Um, and then I'm the, the president of the local, or I guess, New Jersey Synagogue Executive Directors of Synagogues uh, networking group out here. Wow. So last we chatted, I guess, Michelle, you were working for the, the, the Women of Reform Judaism, the yeah. WRJ, and you are now the executive director of a reform congregation in West Orange? Uh, it's actually in Bloomfield, but close Bloomfield. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All yeah. right. Well, that's awesome. Congrats. How long have you been doing that now? A uh, year and a half. Year and a half. Well, wishing you a lot of continued success. Barack, what are you, what are you doing these days? Uh, mine is, well, it's, it's a mix. So I, I unfortunately had lost my job due to COVID. Oh. I, was the, I was the senior regional director of Nifty Gur and Urban Mitzvah Corps, uh, oh. which was great. Uh, <laughs> Awesome. Um, like the last uh, nine months, I've been a uh, stay-at-home dad, which has been equally as amazing and exciting to be able to spend so much time with Gideon, uh, which I would never have had otherwise, and it's been awesome. Um, he's been able to learn a lot of stuff getting one-on-one -on -one <laughs> teaching from and, and learning and playing with me. Um, I wish he could show off for you all. Uh, he knows all of his shapes and colors and number he can count to 20 in english and 10 in hebrew he can Whoa. identify a stop sign as an octagon and he knows how to set up a chess board he's doing a lot of great stuff oh my goodness yeah. he is he is ready for ivy league uh, college that yeah. is impressive yeah. <laughs> well that's awesome that is so great we are so I I happy for you and your family barack sorry about your job we know you were doing great work in the jewish community and i know it's just a matter of time before you're doing a great work in the jewish community again so we wish you bahatslacha a lot of success thank in you. your next endeavors and thank you all so much for being with us and and please stay with us as long as you can and we understand you're on the east coast so when you need to you know uh, put Nadav to bed and when you need to go to bed yourselves please don't be so far so good yeah. <laughs> we'll it looks, it looks comfy 
we want to stay on as long as we possibly can. It's really nice to see everybody. Thank you very much awesome. for joining us. Thanks for being with us. And, you know, looking at this beautiful family, uh, the Malkin family, you were reminded of all of our families and our family blessing this Shabbat. We invite you to gather now with your family if they're close by or to think of bringing your family to your heart if they're a little bit uh, farther away. And uh, let's join together in the Shabbat family blessing on the bottom of page nine. Well, let's turn now to page 14 in our prayer booklet, page 14. We now open up to the divine in life, experiences of the sacred, and the unity of God and God's creation expressed in the Shema. Shema. Well, we know what comes after the Shema, directly after the Shema. It is the Via Hafta. And oh, we are so excited. I am so excited to welcome and call upon Mimi Bernstein. Mimi, hi. Oh, your parents are there. Hello. Hi, Susu. Hi, hi Andy. Hi, hi Mimi. Mimi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Did you have a nice winter break from school? I did. Very relaxing. Thank oh, you. very good. Very good. And looks like dad is home from the Laker camp. How long are you home for, Andy? Indefinitely, Rabbi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We, so, so, so you guys, you got the Laker championship, yeah. and and you got all the photos. For those who don't know, Andy is the Laker photographer. How do you say that, Andy? How do I what? How would you say what's what's your title? L oh, Laker. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess you'd say official photographer. Or official like photographer. Best NBA. photographer for the NBA. More than <laughs> oh, for, for the NBA. Okay. All right, and Mimi is getting ready to become a bat mitzvah in a few months, right? In June of uh, this year. We can't wait to celebrate with you, Mimi, and I guess you're going to uh, do a little Torah chanting tonight in addition to Torah chanting in June by leading us in the Via Hafta. We're so honored to ha have you lead us tonight. So whenever you're ready, sweetie, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Behove <laughs> Uvlekteha, 
lemon ti skeru veasi tem et komets votai vitiem kidoshi im lelechem ani adonai lechem asher hotze ti etem me eret mitzrayim lihiot lachem leolim leokim sorry ani adonai lechem <laughs> That was awesome, Mimi. Let's hear from Mimi. We've got our sacred Pac-Man and our wash your hands for COVID and our si other applause. And then we've got that. Mimi, that was wonderful. You did great. Hey, my, you know what? My kids, Via Hafta, they finally got the Via Hafta like, you know, like two weeks before their ceremony. So you are ahead of the game. You were oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm still learning all the tropes. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're doing great. And by the way, the Via Hafta, I like to say, it's got half of the 27 tropes that are part of all of Torah chanting. So Mimi, you are well on your way. You're doing so great. And <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you for leading us tonight. That was awesome. <laughs> And great to see your beautiful family. Great to see you, Susu. Great to see you, Andy. Thanks again, Mimi. Wonderful. Thank you. You are so welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm, so I'm looking at the calendar. And this Shabbat, we enter a, the second book of the Torah, the book of Shemot. But we know it as the book of Exodus. And we come to the foundational story of the Jewish people in the book of Exodus, the liberation from Egypt and we revisit that and we relive that not just on Passover but during every Jewish worship service when we come to the Micha Mocha the song of the sea the song of redemption we're on page 16 everybody Thank you, Cantor. And I hope everybody had a chance to see in the chat box. Look what Mimi said in response to um, what people were saying about her chanting. Thank you, everyone. So glad I could chant for you. That's beautiful. Thank you, Mimi. Well, in the wake of what transpired two days ago in our nation's capital, at the Capitol building, I can't help thinking about an essential Jewish teaching. The power of words. The power of words. Words that are truthful and words that can be false. Words that are helpful and words that cause harm words that inspire and words that can inflame i frequently talk about the power of words during the high holy days why because it's so crucial to our lives and our relationships and because the haftarah portion itself between rosh hashanah and yom kippur exclaims take words with you 
and return to the eternal. Kehu imachem divarim, take words with you and return to the eternal. You may recall, you may know that an entire book of the Torah, one of its most eloquent, that Mimi chanted from, is titled Divarim, words. But we know the book more commonly by its Greek title, Deuteronomy. In Hebrew, Divarim means words, and it also means things. Things. How wise is that? Words are things. Words have tangible effects in the world. Judaism has taught this from the very beginning. The Torah says that God created the world through the power of words. Vayomer Elohim yehi or vayehi or. God said, let there be light and there was light. Ten times God spoke the world into existence according to our tradition. Indeed, words can create worlds. Just think of the stirring words of people like Lincoln, Roosevelt, Churchill, Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., and our Hebrew prophets, which inspired people to transform society and make a better world. Just think of how in our everyday lives, a kind word or a small compliment brightens our day. Words can indeed create worlds and words also have the power to destroy worlds and cause tremendous harm. The biblical book of Proverbs does not exaggerate. It does not exaggerate when it declares life and death are in the power of the tongue. Speech is powerful. Words have force. Last week on vacation, I watched a movie I've been wanting to see for some time. It's about Winston Churchill's leadership leading up to the start of World War II called Darkest Hour. You may have seen it. It's with Gary Oldman who won the Oscar for his portrayal of Churchill. In one scene, when Churchill's stirring oratory, when his words at British Parliament is, when his words are met with boisterous cheers, persuading even the skeptics there to stand up to Nazi Germany's murderous aggression, launching England's entrance into World War II. At that moment, one British character turns to another in the movie and says, what just happened? The other replies, Churchill just mobilized the English language and sent it into battle. He mobilized the English language and sent it into battle. That famous line was actually first said by journalist Edward R. Murrow and later repeated by John F. Kennedy as President Kennedy presented Churchill with honorary American citizenship in 1963. Speech is powerful. Words have force. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. A Midrash teaches that two rabbis were arguing about which weapon most resembled words. A sword or a bow and arrow. The first rabbi asked, why not a sword? Because, answered the second, if a man unsheathes his sword to kill his friend, and that friend begs for mercy, the man may be mollified and return his sword 
to its scabbard, but an arrow, an arrow, once it's shot, can never be returned, no matter how much one wants to. Hurtful words as arrows. I think about that as I replay in my mind the words spoken at the rally outside the White House on Wednesday morning and early afternoon. Words which directly led to the storming of the Capitol building, the violence that ensued, resulting, of course, in bloodshed and death. We all know from Jewish history that hateful words can and often do lead to hate-filled actions in a country, in a village, in a home, in a school, and in a nation's capital. Words can and do harm. And words can help. They can heal, they can honor, they can strengthen relationships, they can build community. We've all been touched by a kind word. We've all been moved by uplifting words. We've all been strengthened by encouraging words. These are cherished experiences and interactions that connect us to each other, that deepen our relationships, and that build and sustain community. And it almost goes without saying, almost, so I'll therefore say it, that old adage that we all know well, actions speak louder than. Or if you prefer the more modern idiom, walk in the talk. You and I know that when our words and our actions are not in accord, our words lose their value. Helpful, kind, and healing words are thus necessary but not sufficient. To get from necessary to sufficient in our relationships and in our lives, we know our helpful healing words require helpful healing actions. To live lives of integrity, we need both. We need both. May we forever recognize and appreciate again and again and again throughout our lives the tremendous power of our words and our actions. Shabbat Shalom, my friends. Thank you for those beautiful words, Rabbi. I uh, want to take a moment now to, uh, to transition us into, uh, into a, a prayer for the evening and a prayer for comfort and peace. Um, this is Ufros Alenu, which is an excerpt from Hashti Venu, our nighttime prayer that we say for protection um, and healing in the evening. Uh, this is an original song which many of you have heard here before, so uh, we'll put the words up on the screen for you, and um, most of it's in English, so uh, please feel free to sing along. <laughs> Peace of mind. 
Thank you, Cantor, for your beautiful words and melody that you've composed and that you share with us. Well, let's take a moment now, friends. Let's take a moment in the quiet of the night and the peace and the wholeness that is Shabbat to spend a few moments in our very own personal silent prayer and contemplation. Hopefully you've all had an opportunity to uh, to speak your private silent meditations. Uh, we take a moment now to uh, to pray. Yehulu may the words that we've just spoken in our heads and in our hearts in this silent meditation may they be acceptable uh, before our God. So please join me. We're found on page twenty two of the Sidor, and we'll put the words up on the screen. One moment, I'm running slightly behind on the lyrics.
we are all now going to use our devarim, our words, and our thoughts and our prayers as we think of those that we know and care about who are in need of healing. And so we're going to send our healing words and prayers and ask for God's healing presence for them and the doctors and nurses entrusted with their care as we now join together in this Misha Barach prayer of healing. this time we invite you to put the names of people you're thinking of tonight who are in need of healing to please put their name in the chat box our prayer of healing our Misha Bayrach is for them so as we think of them and as we look at the chat box our Misha Bayrach prayer of healing is also for all of the folks listed on our Misha Bayrach page on the screen our prayer of healing is for all of these temple members, and I am thinking of Gerd Lester tonight, and everybody, all these temple members, and all of these family members who are in need of healing, and all of these friends and co-workers who are in need of our healing prayers, God's healing presence and a complete healing of body and spirit as we join together. and I are thinking that we're probably all in need of a little healing too tonight and that certainly our country is in need of healing this week and this Shabbat. So we'd like to share with you now a prayer for our country that we shared with you right before, right around October, November. And um, these words resonate, I think, even stronger uh, this Shabbat and this week. So let's join, uh, and, and, and Jason's going to put it on the screen. I'm going to read for everybody. I invite you to please share with these words and please recite these words at home as well. This prayer for our country from Jewish prayer book, Sidur Lev Shalem. Dear God, grant to our country the will and the wherewithal to fulfill its calling to justice, liberty, and equality. May each of us fulfill our responsibilities of citizenship with care, generosity, and gratitude. Ever conscious of the extraordinary blessing of freedom, ever mindful of our duties to one another. Fill us all with the gifts of love and courage that we may create a world that reflects your glory. May we each respond to the charge of your prophet for what does the eternal ask of you only to act justly, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. May the one who brings peace on high 
bring peace and prosperity to our world and keep us in safety. Well, Jewish worship is never complete until we think of those that we love and have lost who have passed away in body, but we still love them dearly and they are still with us in spirit. So we now recite Kaddish and we come to our Kaddish list. Jason's going to put our Kaddish list up on the screen. And as I mentioned the name of a loved one who has passed, I invite you to please stand. And then we'll all stand together at the end to recite the Kaddish prayer as we remember all of them. We remember them and honor them through our memory and through our prayer. This Shabbat, we remember Sipporah Porath. We remember Joyce Wolf. We remember Lori Greenberg and Earl Sanders. And we remember Larry Moskowitz. We remember Rebecca Kaufman, Howard Schwartz, David Bernstein, Stephen Strauss. Remember Donald Allen Pocock, Susan Goldsmith, Cecilia Carpenter. We remember Alan Leuben, Patricia Jacobson, and Florence Schwartz. And for those who are observing Yartzeit, the anniversary of the death of a loved one that is commemorated this week, we remember Gary Bergman, Catherine Welch, Julio Plute, Stanley Friedenberg. We remember Anne Chazanoff, Ditsa Shavit, Esther Markowitz, Howard Cohn, Fred Sutton, Hyman Kooten, Roberta Lynn Kooten, Abraham Gottlieb, Marias Hirsch, Morris Levy, Holda Levi, Sidney Schneider, Minnie Schrager, and Fanny Weinrib. And if you're thinking of someone tonight who has passed away, our Kaddish prayer is for them as well. We invite you to please put their name in the chat box. We think of all of them as so we now stand together as a community of family and friends. As we turn to page 24 in our prayer booklet to recite the Kaddish prayer. Thanking God that they were all with us, we pray. Yid Kadal, Yid Kadash, Shemer Raba, Bialma Devara Hirute, Biamlich Malchute, Bahaye Hon, Ubiome Hon, Ubahaye de Kol Beit Israel, Baagala Ubizman Kari, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Shme Raba, Mevarach, Le Alam Ulme, Almaya, Yid Parach. Vish Tabach, Vi Paar Vitromam Vietna Se, Vita Dar Vita Le Vita Lal, Shemade Kudisha, Berichu. Le Ela mean call Birchata Vishirata, Tushpachata Venechamata, the Amiran Bialma, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chaim Aleno Vial Ko Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O se Shalom Bimromav. Who ya ase shalom, Alenu vi al ko Yisrael vi al ko Yoshve Tevel, vi imru, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn. May we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved, and together we say, Amen. Please be seated, everybody. I want to take this opportunity now to help us conclude the Kaddish prayer uh, by reiterating the prayer for peace, O Se Shalom. Uh, and the, the melody we'll be using tonight is Debbie Friedman's. Uh, it's not her yard site in the Hebrew calendar right now, but uh, she did die 10 years ago the Shabbat, so um, January 9th, and left a very large impact on, and legacy on the world of Judaism and Jewish music. 
So uh, we'll turn back to the page in the Sidur of Seshalom. We are now honored to call upon our financial secretary and percussionist extraordinaire, <laughs> Mr. Larry Cohen. Hi, Larry. Shabbat shalom. Well, I didn't bring my drum uh, today, for, uh, but I was thinking of the beats as we were going uh, through the music. Sure. Um, well, Rabbi and Cantor, I want to thank you both. Uh, this was a very meaningful service, uh, especially given what we have experienced recently. And it's uh, brought a lot of truth to uh, your words, Rabbi. Thank you. And um, I want to thank uh, Barack and Michelle and Nadav and Gidon, Gideon. or Gideon in English. <laughs> for uh, the candle lighting uh, this evening. It was a, a pleasure to see them and, and a real delight to have them here with us. And uh, I wanna uh, thank uh, Mimi Bernstein and Susan and, and uh, Andy for uh, being together during the, uh, during the uh, Via Hafta prayer. So I enjoyed uh, Mimi's uh, rec recitation of the uh, Via Hafta. And um, tonight's virtual Oneg is sponsored by Ruth and uh, Richard Goldstein in appreciation of Rabbi Rick and Cantor Alyssa and uh, Zoom moderator, Jason Marks. Without uh, Jason, we just wouldn't know what to say when we're supposed to say it. <laughs> and um, things that are coming up soon, uh, the rabbi's uh, journey through the Bible, the class on Sunday at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m., and the reg regular uh, Temple Sinai Book Club on Monday at noon, and also Sisterhood's new book discussion group book ends on Tuesday at 7 p.m., the Temple's monthly kids Shabbat service on Friday at 5 p.m. You'll find the details and the Zoom links in the Temple Sinai uh, uh, email blast. I want to say Shabbat Shalom, and uh, I hope uh, the coming week is going to be much more peaceful than we've <laughs> experienced uh, so recently. And uh, uh, we're going through times right now uh, that we have never witnessed before. And uh, I'm thankful for the prayers that we've heard this evening and the, and the good words. And um, hope this will all pass and our country will heal from all, of, all the strife we've, uh, we've witnessed. Shabbat shalom all. Amen. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Yes. Amen to, to what Larry said. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, I just I just want to mention to uh, Larry had mentioned all the great things coming up uh, here at Temple Sinai and journey through the Bible. We've been on hiatus. I looked at my notes the last time journey through the Bible met. It was last February. It right, Susan. It is it is it is um, been almost a year. And so we're glad to be resuming our journey through the Bible. We've been journeying for many years. 
we are looking at some there we go thank you jason and i want to echo what larry said uh thank you so much jason for everything you do uh you know behind the scenes and our communications manager uh, we know you've all been receiving such, uh, you know, wonderful communication from Jason. And boy, talk about beautiful words. Um, that that's Jason. So, um, so, so thank, thank you, you, thank you, Jason. And um, uh, oh, so what was I going to say about journey through the Bible? So we are journeying through the Bible. We are in the book now of First Kings, and this whole section we've been calling the original Game of Thrones. And what you're going to find if you join, right, you like that, Cantor? So we were, this is like the original Game of Thrones. And there is intrigue, there is, there is political stuff, there is all sorts of um, things that we can, we have been learning from about today's world and today's power struggles in the world. And I want to suggest, if you're interested in that topic, join us this Sunday. We're in the second chapter of First Kings where King Solomon takes the throne. And like I say, there are so many things that go on in, in, in this chapter and in the book of Kings that I think you can relate to uh, with what's going on in the world today. So please join us at 11 o'clock this Sunday. Sorry for the long plug, but um, I'm excited to, to be journeying again uh, with everybody. And Jason sent out PDF files. So if you want to get a, a head start on what am I talking about in the second chapter of First Kings, um, you, you can you can find that. Jason sent it out this week, uh, just a few days ago, and, and you can read that. So thank you and, and look forward to seeing mentioned you. mentioned in the chat the Minion and Torah discussion tomorrow morning at 10 30 a.m. So I'm yes. interested in that. Um, yes, Minion, Minion and Torah study been taking place every week, which is wonderful. Right, uh, Maggie. It's been it's been about every week uh, for quite some time. So yes, please join. So many great activities going on this weekend at, at Temple Sinai and during the week. Well, and we've got Kiddush and we have Ona tonight. There's still more to celebrate. So Cantor. Yes, everyone, go ahead and grab your Kiddush cup. We'll make the short Kiddush together. Baruch and our closing song for tonight um, is some, a song that may be familiar to those of you who uh, heard it at High Holidays. Um, it's called Olam Chesed Yibane. I will build, uh, well, it's about building the world of, of loving kindness. Um, and so it has Hebrew and it has English and it's very, very easy to sing along to. So uh, we'll put the words on the screen for you all and please join me.
everybody. Shabbat shalom. Thank Shabbat you, shalom. Pietro. Shabbat shalom. And Jason, let's uh, unmute and everybody can wish each other a Shabbat shalom before our own egg. Shabbat shalom. 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 How are you, Arthur?